Hey everyone, Dan Bernard here with another tutorial and today I want to talk about cleaning up a dialogue track using noise print or noise reduction processing. Uh, there's a couple ways to do this and I'm going to show you both ways. The first is a little more involved and the second one utilizes Adobe Audition's powerful essential sound panel. So let's get right into it. I've selected a clip here from an interview that I'm going to be editing here in the near future. And this was recorded in an area that has a lot of muffled background noise in it. And I want to try to clean it up a little bit. So the first thing you're going to do is if you're in multi-track mode, you're going to need to be into the waveform editor. So you can either click over here on the waveform editor or just double click on that audio clip there and it'll bring you into the editor. You don't need to be in the spectral display mode. You can just do this right here in the waveform monitor. So now the next step is to find a section of this audio clip that only has the background noise that we're going to try to remove. So we can capture that frequency and then apply the reduction process to the entire clip. So let's go through this and see if we can find an area that is appropriate for that. I was 13. I started my freshman year of high school. Possibly the most normal kind of alternative kid you would ever imagine meeting. Okay, so I think right in here. Yeah. I started so this clip right here, there's no, there's no dialogue, there's no speaking. It's just that kind of weird background noise that is a little too loud for my liking. So we want to try to bring that down a bit so we can focus more on the voice. So once we've made our selection, we can go up to effects, noise reduction and restoration and click on capture noise print. And what this does is you're telling Audition that pretty much whatever you hear in my selection, I want you to remember that. And then now that you know what that sounds like, I can then go ahead and select all by hitting control A and then go back to effects, noise reduction and restoration, and then noise reduction process. And this is pretty much telling Audition, hey, remember that little bit of noise that I showed you before? I want you to find that in the entire clip. And this window is going to come up and this is showing you pretty much the spectrum of the frequencies that is being captured from that selected noise print that we made before. So when we play through it, we can then adjust the amount of reduction being added here to whatever we want. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the loop here so it'll just keep repeating. So this process may be a little tedious because you're just hearing the same thing over and over, but what we're gonna focus on is how much of that reduction that we want Adobe Audition to apply to our clip. So let's take a listen. I was 13, I started my freshman year of high school, possibly the most normal kind of alternative kid you would ever imagine meeting. I was 13, I started my freshman year of high school, possibly the most normal kind of alternative kid you would ever imagine meeting. I was 13. I started my freshman year of high school. Possibly the most normal kind of alternative kid you would ever imagine meeting. I was All right. So somewhere in there, you can really hear the difference if we toggle this off and on. 13. I started my freshman year of high school. And then if we listen to it with the noise reduction applied. I was 13. I started my freshman year of high school. Pretty stark difference in the quality of the dialogue there. You can really hear the person's voice much more clearly. So just like any other effect though, you can totally overdo this. This is this is a comfortable range for this particular clip. Actually, I'm probably just gonna leave it at just 60 or below would probably be fine. Um, just to bring a little more presence to her voice. So I'm gonna remember 58%. I wanna show you guys what can happen if you overdo this process. And this is something we just need to develop an ear for. Possibly the most normal kind of alternative kid you would ever imagine meeting. I was 13, I started my freshman year of high school. Now we can hear her voice really well because we've pretty much EQ'd everything else out except for her vocal range. Unfortunately, what we're left with as a result is a very thin, wimpy sound. And there's no, there's no mid tone, there's no low end. 
we've pretty much lost all of that. And the question is, how much do you want to sacrifice in this process to get a desired result that you think is appropriate for your project? Once I've decided on a amount that I think is appropriate, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit apply. And that is going to apply that to the waveform. So like I said, that's one way of doing it. The other way of doing this same process is going over here to the essential sound panel, highlighting your clip and designating what type of audio track this is. In this case, I'm going to click the dialog track and then under the repair sound tab, you can click on reduce noise. And then you, again, using a slider, adjust how intense you want that process to be. And you can toggle back and forth to listen to it one way or the other. So there you go. There's two techniques that you can use to take away unwanted noise out of your dialogue track. I hope this helps you guys out in projects in the future. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you have any questions or comments about what I've covered here, please, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you wanna see more audio post-production tutorials, please hit that subscribe button and let me know. Once again, my name is Dan Bernard and thanks for stopping by.